Welcome to Mars Saga, your gateway to the Red Planet. Subscribe now and join the journey. Episode 14, The Silent Engines of Mars. Welcome back to Mars Saga, where every chapter brings us deeper into the forgotten heart of the Red Planet. In Episode 14, we descend into the ancient machinery that once powered Mars. The internal forces, hidden reservoirs, and lost energies that shaped a world now quiet, yet never fully dead. For most people, Mars looks like a silent, frozen desert. But beneath the calm surface lies a record of intense violence. Magma chambers that once erupted with unimaginable force, tectonic fractures that stretched the crust, and molten flows that built mountains taller than anything Earth has ever known. Olympus Mons, the tallest volcano in our solar system, is only the most dramatic reminder of a planet that once heaved with internal power. Its sheer size tells us that Mars's crust was thick, stable, and unable to quickly recycle material the way Earth's drifting plates do. Over millions of years, lava simply piled higher and higher, forming a shield volcano so massive that its slopes are gentle enough to climb like a hill, if you're willing to walk for weeks. But the real mysteries of Mars's volcanic heart lie beneath the surface. Recent seismic measurements hint at warm pockets still lingering deep underground, remnants of the magma that once fueled global transformation. These pockets might not be hot enough to power new eruptions, but they could keep underground water in a liquid state. And where liquid water survives, even in the shadows of the crust, the possibility of ancient or even dormant life becomes harder to ignore. In the mid-latitudes, NASA's orbiters have revealed enormous subsurface ice sheets, some thicker than skyscrapers. These deposits formed when Mars tilted more dramatically in the past, swinging its poles toward the sun and allowing water ice to migrate across the planet. Over thousands of cycles, ice accumulated in layers freezing and refreezing, capturing trapped gases and microscopic dust between each deposit. These frozen archives record climate patterns stretching back millions of years. Deeper still, radar scans show hints of something even more intriguing low-density pockets beneath the crust that may contain briny water. Salt acts like antifreeze, preventing liquid from freezing even in the harsh Martian cold. Such reservoirs could exist miles below the surface, pitch black, pressurized, and isolated. If life ever found shelter on Mars after its atmosphere thinned and radiation increased, these underground havens would be the last place it could survive. As we rise back toward the surface, we enter the chaotic region known as Cerberus Fossa, a network of fissures that stretch for hundreds of miles. These fractures cut through young terrain, suggesting that Mars experienced geological activity far more recently than scientists once believed. Some of the dark streaks and patterned sediments around this region hint at ancient lava flows less than a few million years old. In planetary terms, that is yesterday, it is proof that Mars hasn't gone completely cold. The silent engines still hum, faint but persistent. And then we reach the plains shaped by the planet's shifting tilt. Unlike Earth, Mars's axial angle periodically changes drastically, swinging between mild and extreme. When the tilt increases, polar ice evaporates and drifts across the sky, settling in layers along the equator. When the tilt decreases, the poles freeze again, trapping carbon dioxide and locking the atmosphere in a fragile balance. These long cycles sculpt the Martian landscape with frost, wind, and dust, laying down patterns that tell the story of a climate always in motion. Above all of this, the thin Martian air still serves as the stage for one of the most dramatic processes on any planet, global dust storms. These events begin with sunlight warming the ground, lifting particles into the air. As the dust absorbs heat, it rises higher, triggering powerful updrafts that spread across continents. A single spark of warm air can grow into a storm that engulfs the planet. During these events, Mars turns into a world of swirling orange haze, with skies so thick that even robotic rovers struggle to survive. The dust climbs dozens of miles high, forming hazy blankets that reshape the temperature of the entire planet. But dust is not just a nuisance. It is the carrier of Mars's identity. 
the iron-rich particles that give the planet its deep, iconic shade of red. Every storm, every gust of wind, every grain of dust lofted into the air continues the process that began billions of years ago, when the first iron minerals oxidized and stained the world. Mars is not red because it is dead, but because its surface interacts constantly with the atmosphere, performing a slow and endless chemical dance. In this episode, the message becomes clear. Mars is far from lifeless. It is a planet with a past full of fire, water, storms, and transformation, and a present shaped by subtle, ongoing forces. Its interior still shifts, its ice still moves, its winds still sculpt, and beneath its crust, its ancient secrets remain locked away, waiting for the next mission and the next chapter of Mars Saga to reveal what lies below. Thank you for watching. This is Mars Saga, and our journey continues.